Okay, so I'm going to show how to open up a Lenovo T450 for upgrade. Um, and I'll also show like some other things. So, like for this one, the keyboard, um, they make it a little tricky, but what you got to do is you pull this forward. You might have to remove this little, this thing. Um, but basically you would pull this forward and then you'll see there's like little screws under here that you have to undo. Um, there's a whole bunch of them all around. Just look for all of them. Once you remove them all, then the keyboard will come up easily. Um, tilt it forward light, um, carefully, and then you can remove a cable underneath. I'm not going to show how to do that because this doesn't need keyboard and it takes some time. Um, but I'll show you how to open up the bottom since this one I'm going to be replacing with an SSD. So first what you do is just undo all the screws. There's one, two, three, four, five six seven eight eight screws total once you do that you got to get between the edges you might have to use a pry tool but just go all around the edges the sides um, when you get to these areas you have to pry like the individual pieces that where it comes down from the top just so you don't uh, break anything um, for those I was able to use my fingernails to go all the way around the the sides and the front um, but the back here you're probably going to need a tool. So what I do is I use the tool here and you just go on the edge and then you kind of just pop it like that. Okay. And same for all around these, these little bits, you're going to have to use the tool and then kind of just get it between the edges and pop it. Okay. Just like that. Okay. And make sure you get this last one. Yeah. So once you get that, there's actually two clips on the front here um, but once you get that you can actually pull up on this side okay and then just kind of pull on it you might have to actually lift both I don't know if I can do this with one hand um, I did this earlier but um, yeah let's see here how I can show this because you, you need to kind of pull it out this way while you're lifting up the back the back here so I don't know if I can do this with one hand. Oh, there we go. It actually worked. So you can just pull and then try and like pull it forward this way and make sure it's not catching on these. Make sure the screws, sometimes they might be slightly still connected. So make sure when you're unscrewing them to kind of lift them away so it releases. Okay, so there you go. I already took the hard drive out of this, um, but there's two slots here for the RAM. I took the RAM out already, but yeah, there's two slots here, and this is the RAM. So it uses four gig. It had a four gig PC three L twelve eight hundred S. So there's yeah, just DDR three. Um, and then you got the CMOS battery here with the connector. You got this for the power button. Um, you got the LCD connector here. There's a second battery in here. So. Yeah, make sure if you're going to do anything that, like with the screen, to completely remove this. If you're not, if you're kind of clumsy and you might drop something in here, you might want to also remove the battery and then just hold the power button for a bit to drain all the power. Um, the processor's under this, um, so if you need to redo the thermal paste or something, you'll have to remove those four screws. You can see the fan, the connector here, and then this connector I'm not sure where that goes to. oh it goes to this USB port here then you got this uh, most likely for the camera then you got the DC jack power connector here so it runs all the way along up to here got the speaker all right the wires go all the way to the other speaker here and then the speakers connect here you got the SD card slot another USB Right. Ethernet port, all these things are connected to it so you can't replace it. Um, the power button is replaceable if something happened to it, it's underneath this, the hinge and the board. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, the hard drive goes here, it has this um, removable plastic bracket, and this has like these little nubs that stick out into the hard drive, so to remove it you just pull this thing, the plastic outwards, and it'll pop out. So the hard drive will be sitting in like this with one screw. You remove that screw 
After that, you can um, lift the back of the hard drive up slightly and then just pull it out. This slot is like very loose, so it'll come out easily. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, um, just send me a, or uh, just post a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Alright, thanks for watching and yeah, have a great day. Bye.